So I'm not going to say the word Calvary. I'm not going to say the word resurrection. I'm not going to say the blood of Jesus, Uh, right? Um, I'm not going to say any of these words that make someone feel like an outsider. So this is a gentleman uh, from Elevation Church. And they have a message that they want to, uh, the techniques that they use when it comes to special holidays. Easter and Christmas. So I'll let you guys hear their techniques yourself and then I'll make a comment uh, when they are done. Okay, so let's listen in to their techniques. Here we go. But like, what are you specifically tackling for Easter right now? Like, okay, this is going to be a bigger service for most churches. What are some of the things that you have to get your, you know, ducks in a row, as it were, in respect to Easter? Um, for us, the most important thing on Easter is inviting people to church. Uh, Easter I, and Christmas are the only two Sundays of the year that are actually wrapped around a particular passage in the Bible, right? A lot of, most of our other Sundays are whatever the pastor wants to preach on, you know, any particular thing or whatever. But, but Easter and Christmas are both around particular biblical events. And so this particular biblical event of Easter is tied directly to our mission. Um, and so, so that's so important to us. And so when I think about how I'm going to talk about Easter, I'm thinking about talking to people far from God. Um, so because that's the thing that matters most to us. And so, uh, so just to like give you just like a teeny bit of a glimpse, I'm talking all the way from people who have been in our church for years and I want them to invite people to church all the way to people who've never heard of our church before and trying to get them to come to church, right? People who are unchurched, you might say. And so how do I talk to those two people are really different. Um, but I'm putting a lot of my focus energy, time, resources toward what I would call the cold audience as people far from God. And so I'm not going to say the word Calvary. I'm not going to say the word resurrection. I'm not going to say the blood of Jesus, Uh, right? Um, I'm not going to say any of these words that make someone feel like an outsider. This is really important, um, an important guiding principle for how we develop language is um, anyone can be a part of our church. It might not be for everyone. Everyone might not like it, but anyone can come. Um, You don't have to understand what we're, you know, any fancy language. There's not any prerequisite to be able to come here. And so, so when we're thinking about such a like steeped in tradition holiday, like Easter and how we talk to someone who's not steeped in that tradition and how we get them to connect to it and come to it, that's really important to us. You had them right. So that's the technique that they use at the Elevation Church. When it comes to Easter, they're not going to talk about the blood. They don't want to talk like how are you going to have Easter if you're not going to talk about the blood? We are, we are saved by the blood of Jesus. And they don't want to make uh, visitors uncomfortable. What is the point? The point is for those visitors to come in and repent and believe the gospel. So if you're not going to tell them that their sins are forgiven uh, through the cross, but they need to repent, what's the point? What is the message for Easter? What is the message for Christmas? And it says, like, these are the big holidays. Eh? The Sunday, the pastor can just talk about whatever. So, like, no, we worship on Sunday. Why? Because it's a resurrection Sunday. We are celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So, this is a church that's catering to people uh, who are unchurched. The church is for believers. Anybody else is welcome to come in. But once you start catering your service, Whatever you're doing to the church, to uh, to the sinners, to the enemies of God, you are already in trouble. You're already in trouble. Okay? What's the purpose of the church? It's for us. We go there to hear the word of God, to worship God, to uh, to you know to commune with other believers. Okay? To participate to, uh, in sacraments, things of that nature. Now we have over here the techniques that they're using at the Elevation Church, and they're excited. They just said in buzzwords that they're not going to use. Then why you call yourself a church? Why call yourself a church? And why even celebrating Easter? Huh? If you take out the blood of Jesus, you don't have Easter. Okay? You don't even, <laughs> you don't have Christmas. You, you need to have Christmas. In order for you to have Christmas, in order for you to have Easter, those things go hand in hand. Okay? You have Christmas, right? This is the birth of Christ. Okay? Um, in Nazareth, the incarnation. You have Jesus Christ dying on the cross Easter. That's the atonement. Reconciling us to, to, to God the Father. Okay? Him taking all our sins satisfying the wrath of God and this guy wants to take out the blood of uh, like what are you talking about huh by his by his wound you're healed okay 
The blood, like, you know, and we know people just want to plead the blood, the blood, the blood. And these guys don't want even want to plead the blood. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. They are truncating the gospel because they want to entertain the gods. They're truncating the gospel because they want to entertain the crowd. That's not what the church is for. That's not what's supposed to be happening. So if you're in the church that uh, truncates the gospel, they don't want to talk about the Easter. I bet you they'll be talking about the Easter bunny. I bet you they'll be talking about uh, e uh, egg hunt, Easter egg hunt, as if that has got anything to do with, uh, with Easter. They'll have no problem talking about that. So they are doing Easter devoid of the Easter, the purpose of Easter itself. So churches like that, mark and avoid. That's not where you want to go and worship, especially on Easter. If anything, there's people actually, you know, people who don't go to church at all. They only go to church on Christmas on Easter. So this is the time when they come in, you want to hit them with the gospel. You want to hit them with the truth so they can repent. But now if they come in, you're just going to entertain them. The things that they've been entertained all along, what is the point? Help me out here. Help me out here.